and uh, krishnan sir uh, let me know what will be the convenient mode of language to communicate hindi english or because i i can speak hindi english as well as my mother language but as i, you said, I think that i i think better would be english uh, and in between you can use uh, hindi also a mix of both will be fine predominantly okay. into english will be better yeah sure sure thank so you. yeah so thanks to everyone and uh, it's always been my pleasure to interact with the youth and to exchange the thoughts and share my journey to them and uh, whenever um, i get interact with the youth i always end up the session with many much learning from that youth because they have the aspiring ideas they have many uh, uh, planning that sir we can do this i have such concept to do and uh, uh, we are very open and i am personally uh, get involved in the project as a mentor whenever uh, my help is required i'm available maybe it can be in the terms of financial it can be in terms of uh, whatever the help i can do i am always there available for every student for everyone on the call and uh, and there is one quote i would like to share that uh, scott belsky is a uh, uh, american and he had said a word that it's not about the ideas but it's about making the ideas happen so uh, friends who are listening me so uh, whenever i thought about my first project that i will be making my um, electric uh, bicycle so people ask me that how the journey had started that is it something that you thought about electric scooter and you are making it right now so friends no it's not like that uh, the thought always start from a uh, one step i had just um, thought about that how can i make my commute uh, of, um, effortless i was in class 8 i was studying in the 8th standard and i used to commute every day by my bicycle and uh, as i was a very lazy lad that time so uh, i just converted my bicycle to the electric one and uh, the story is like I, i need i was in a need of fundings many of us or many of the listeners will ask me that sir uh, what are the challenges about the fundings you had in your life before and how is the, how are you dealing with now so it is about as you are in the need you always will find the source a right investor for you and uh, by god grace um, currently in my startup we are debt free company and overall uh, the investment is done by my father itself he is the chairman of the company as of now and they are into the business uh, they are basically from gujarat so gujarat is known as a land of business and i was 12 13 year old and i was just starting my um, educational maybe getting on the track of the uh, right track that what i will select in my 10th how i will study afterwards and uh, then after i just asked my teacher that sir i need some help with the gear ratios i want to convert my cycle to the electric one without any effort i would like to drive from n2 uh for my regular commute and uh, one fine day after a long hassle uh, after a long maths uh, i would able to attain um a complete ready product it took me two years and a number of failures to attain that successful drive of the my electric converted bicycle even we uh, even um, i had faced many of the challenges and the main challenge is getting the mentally um you face many ch- challenges like the people around you whenever you share the ideas to them they will uh, never agree with your idea they laugh on you that it's not possible you cannot do that but uh, friends believe on me you always need to uh, stick up with whatever you have in your mind and just do whatever your heart says and you will get the success you just need to be carry a one word that is perseverance you need to be dedicated with only and only uh, uh, with your goal so i started my journey i never had thought of making electric scooter or i never had thought of making such business i just made to solve my problem then i got to know one fine day a media person came and uh, took my interview and uh, they had shared across the platforms and multiple platforms 
I got uh, uh, I got from them that sir, we want to uh, connect with you, and uh, we would like you to uh, speak up on the project. And I am uh, I was a very shy person. I am right now not a shy person, but because I used to speak with a lot of people. But before I was a person who just get on the stage and get uh, down from the stage because I saw a lot of people there. Maybe it's a fancy dress competition or a singing competition when I was in first, second class. But then after one fine day, I started interacting with the media, one, two, three, and then now number of there are. So, and the largest uh, ever uh, audience I had addressed, that is 24,000 people uh, in the Ahmedabad while it was having some Lok Sabha elections there. So I had been invited uh, to address the youth. It was specifically uh, a youth rally there. And now it's good to get uh, transfer my motivation and the learnings to the youth. So you everyone can become an entrepreneur. And people see the lifestyle after uh, success. They don't think that what efforts it has been through. That person has been through. And believe me, friends, you need to be out of your comfort zone. The moment you want, you just think about starting an enterprise, you just think about being an entrepreneur, the one word you need to put up in the fire, that is your comfort. You always need to be out of your comfort zone. And I'm very happy and it's a first public platform where I'm announcing um, the latest news about Greta that we had shifted our manufacturing facility from Ahmedabad, Gujarat to Faridabad. I'm right now in Faridabad and we had just doubled our manufacturing capacity uh, before our manufacturing setup was of 35,000 square feet in Ahmedabad. Right now, we are having uh, the new factory land, which is near about 70, 70,000 square feet. It is just in the heart of the city in Faridabad. And it's the first um, public platform. And you all are like my uh, family. I'm sharing this news uh, with you all. And uh, so if I had thought that for me, setting up a factory in Ahmedabad, it, it is always an easy task now. Before, in my whole family, my generations, they are not into the technical things. They are not into engineering business. But uh, I had struggled with them. I had spent multiple nights in my factory to setting up the things. I don't know how the uh, assembly works. I don't know how the um, compressor works. What are the challenges? How to manage the manpower? But I had struggled with that. The, everything was settled up in Ahmedabad. But to expand, to scale up, I need to just step out from my comfort zone because it was becoming my comfort zone. If I was in Ahmedabad, I need to sit on my chair in my office and everything was on the uh, floor. But uh, I want to grow up. So as it's the uh, center of the country and uh, it's having multiple more benefits for us. So I had selected to get out from my comfort zone. Even right now, I don't know where I'll be going to reside here in Faridabad. Uh, it's just a week back. I don't know even who will be my team, who uh, will be making the scooters. But I just started unloading my raw material and things are started move, moving here. We had planned a facility here with a brand experience studio, which will be unique in the world where a person can come experience the greater. It will have 1000 square feet of showroom area and near about 25,000 square feet of area which will be completely covered with the scooters. So it is the first thing where you come, select one of your scooter from three, 4,000 scooters. You can just imagine the, the vision, how it will look like. And when you go inside, it's a factory. So factory will produce the goods and the factory parking, the factory warehouse will be the visiting place for the customers. So it is how you need to visualize. You always need to think ahead. If you can think, you can definitely do it. But you just need to think big and you need to execute with the perseverance. The challenges will come and the true entrepreneur always take the challenges and make their challenges as opportunities to learn. Right now, I, if you say me that Raj, um, construction, uh, what are the challenges? Do you uh, hire a civil engineer and make them work? Or do you have an architect who will plan these things? No, I don't have such. 
I will make everything on my own. I'll face the challenges. I know uh, how things will work off. I don't know how the pillars to be stuck in the ground. What will be the elevation of the, my uh, factory? Uh, what is the RCC compound made of? What type of electric wiring I need to do? But this is an opportunity to learn. I have two options. One option is that I just pay the money to the uh, contractor that, sir, take this amount, make my project done. Either I can be into that and I learn each and every aspect of that construction. So it is a learning to me. A true entrepreneur always convert the challenges to an opportunity. And when you get an opportunity, it's where the business gets started. And many of the, uh, the, uh, the people generally ask me that what is the business and how you get to know that the definition of business uh, is. So uh, the definition of business is very simple. It is demand and supply. If there is no demand, create the demand. How to create the demand? You need to create the awareness. And the true sales is by making the customer empathize about their problem. If somebody is there uh, with some problem, you need to empathize them and you convince, you need to convince them that, yes, I have the solution of your problem. I can help you with that. You just uh, uh, introduce your product to them. That sir, you are facing these 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 difficulties. I have something which can address your problem. When you introduce that, the sales get done at the same moment. And then how the relation begins? You need to focus on the after sales, then servicing and the warranties and all the things. You need to work on the same because the sales is easy. You need to focus on the after sales. That after selling that product, how well you are maintaining the relation, how to retain that customer how to make it engage with your company that he doesn't walk out from that same. These all things you start, you get learned when you just be into the business. And to be in the business, you need to just step out from the comfort zone. Just pick up the challenge, whatever the hardest task in your hand. Whenever I start my day, I have a task a bar. I make a task schedule of today. I'll put the hardest task, which I think that it is the toughest one at the first number. So the day start with a fresh mind. I just keep on it that, yes, I need to do this at first. After doing this, I have the other things to do. Other things already create pressure on me that this time I need to be available. So I get a limited time to solve that uh, problem. And as you may, might have read or uh, hear somewhere about a wording from Elon Musk. Elon Musk had said that, um, if you give 30 days to clean your room, it will take 30 days. If you give three hours to clean your room, it will clean in the three hours. So you need to decide the timelines for yourself. And uh, if you decide and be with that, you will attain the success. As and when uh, I was just 14 and uh, I went to a bank, people asked me that, how would you able to transact foreign countries, how you send the money to foreign countries, 14 years ka age mein to banking bhi nahi aata hai Means at age of 14, you don't know how to bank and how to transact the funds from one country to another country. And the moment when I asked them, uh, so uh, friends, another thing I would like to add up here that you all are students of a, a college. You all have the faculties. And believe me, in my life, I am I, not a stable person. I changed more than 10 schools. And uh, I'm, I was not much good in studies in my first, second grades. Then after I scored more than 99, but at a time, my uh, relatives and my father friends used to say my father that this boy will uh, not do anything in studies, better he will handle the business and carry on the things. You just make him study, at least he will graduate or have 10th pass or 12th pass certifications. By that, my father thought that let it be, I will open a school. My father had opened a school. My sister had studied eight years in the same school. I was just out in six months. I just out from that school in the six months because uh, whenever uh, I just give you an example that the management, the, the team of that school, they think like he is son of the uh, owner. So they treat me like some uh, good, like whatever I say, I say three plus three, eight, they say, okay, it is good. But at the moment in this webinar, if I speak three plus three, eight, you will think that who is this full person? How he, what he studied there. So due to that, I just step out from the school and 
whenever I face the difficulties, right now I'm in connect with the 10 school, uh, the principal, the faculties and all are, I'm a diploma, I took a diploma after my 10th. Uh, and then uh, I took a dropout from diploma because I was not able to give my 100% uh, present or uh, dedication to the studies because my business was on peak. I was near about 17 uh, and I, I become the youngest one to get the import export license. So, and I, I exported to 11 countries already uh, when my age was 17. I thought when my age was 16, I thought that I will not able to get the import export license, but it's worth to apply. Let's apply and think of, I have a reason to apply. And then there is a, a organization DGFT, Director General of Foreign Trade, the one who, up, who approves your uh, DG, I, IEC uh, permit. So I said, I said, okay, let's go. So I went there and I asked, I need permission to export. I have 11 countries order and I need, he said, no, no, you are just kid. You don't know how to operate and something uh, wrong happened. Uh, how would you take the responsibility? We cannot do any legal action on you because you are just a minor juvenile. I said, okay, I applied 18 times and the 19th time I got approval from them. You need to put constant try. If I just thought that, okay, I don't want to continue because 15 time or 16 time I got rejection. It's not how the entrepreneur becomes and it's not how the entrepreneur behaves. I just always keep on thinking in positive aspect that yes, I will get, I will get, I have a reason. And then when I completed my, uh, that I got my license, I become the youngest in the India to get that license. It's how the record and the history we make. It's how we create. It's nothing like I just went a 17 year old boy went to the office. I need license. They had approved from one of us, uh, one 16 year boy, old boy go to the office. They will approve the license. It's not how the things work. You need to convince that person with the need, whatever you are having that sir, uh, the country want to more and more export. It's how the GDP growth don't, don't matter whatever the number I'm contributing to the GDP. It's just very few small orders, maybe 10, 12 lakhs. It doesn't create impact on the uh, global economy or the Indian economy, but it's just a starting. Let me start. And then it's how they had approved me and friends, uh, wherever you get uh, confused in your life or in whatever the problems you are facing, the best guide, the best mentor for you, the God has created is your Sir, can you make, uh, keep the mic closer? Please. Uh, Jay Kumar, sir, it is clearly audible. I think there is some problem on your side. Uh, can you just sort it out? Is it audible? Uh, Chris, yeah, yeah, uh, uh, now, now little clear. improvement is there. Okay. Okay. I'll try to just pitch up my uh, note. So, yeah. Okay. So, uh, the people like always, um, they think that uh, everything is getting easier in the line and whatever you want to do, you can just, uh, you need to put continuous efforts. Like I just had thought that I'm confused at such point. The God has um, assigned the mentor are your parents. They are the best guide in this planet. And the next guide after our parents is our faculty members, is our teachers. In my life, the teachers had played a major role that uh, wherever I get confused that, sir, I, I, I made this motor, I made this motor working, but it is not able to take the load. I, I, I've been directed to the, my physics teacher and physics sir had explained me, okay, you need to be these, 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 these gay ratios. But unless you ask your teachers, they will not able to help you with the things. Like somebody thinks that um, if I ask such question, everybody in the class will laugh on me. But why? You are a active person of the class. That's why you are asking the question. Others maybe are uh, gossiping or they are doing their stuff, or maybe they are 100% um, intelligent. They are they understood the thing at one go, which nobody ever can. The and uh, there is a one quote from my own learnings that when. The curiosity get cures, innovation takes birth. Jigyasa ka samadhan ek avishkar ko jan deta hai. Jigyasa, it means curiosity. When a curious boy comes and if you address that boy's curiosity, definitely it will be a step one for innovation. It's how the innovation happens. A curious person can only develop a new thing, can only do an innovation. 
I was just a boy. I entered to the bank, and whenever I I entered the bank, they had simply asked me that, uh, sir, you need current account. And I said, oh, how? I don't know what is current account. I know saving account. Uh, that is because TV pack, uh, TV have some commercials and advertisements. So I got to know that, yeah, yeah these things, uh, uh, how it operates. I went there. Then he said, okay, you need current account. I said, okay, uh, transfer from my saving account. What's the problem? It is the same bank. He said, no, sir, it is about FEMA and FERA policies. I said, what is this? What is FEMA, FERA? He said, please uh, open this, this. He gave me some links for referring. Uh, it's sad to say, but when I interact with the students, MBA finance, and uh, they are in the bachelor's or in master's, they are even not at all aware about FEMA and FERA policies. That what are the policies meant for? What is the full form of it? How the things operates? And whenever somebody asks me, I simply say to them, do Google. Now Google is a very good source. You can learn like unlimited, it's infinity pool of learning. But opening Google and what to type is on you. What you want to absorb, it's on you. You want to play a game, you can do that. You want to learn FEMA and FERA policies, it's on you. So completely, you need to spend your time in such positive things. Wherever you can learn, you can gain the things. And every moment of the life has number of opportunities to explore. And if opportunities are not there, find the challenge, make the challenge as an opportunity for learning. It's how my life had been till now. And then after is currently I'm also taking up a challenge to setting up a plant in Faridabad. I don't know who is the team member who will be coming up here. The, the, the team members of Ahmedabad, they are not okay to move here. They have their families there and they are having some challenges. So, but yeah, as I had thought of making something unique, the land of thousand wheels now have a new address. It's from Ahmedabad to Faridabad and they will, it will happen. As it is my vision, I know how to make my vision true. I need just one thing, it is perseverance and the dedication. Completely, I need to dedicate it with the project. That What challenges? Right now I have challenges like to have a good manpower, a construction. Yeah, I can do both the things I will learn. If you have challenge with the fundings and friends, another story I would like to share that in my life, I got a shortage of funding of 8,000 rupees when I imported that uh, Korean product. So I have savings of 40 to 45,000 rupees, which I had been exhausted up to the uh, end. Like I, I would having balance of three to 4,000 rupees. And uh, I was having a need of 8,000. I went to my father that, Papa, I need this money, 8,000. And uh, as being in the home, I see his transactions that if the driver come and ask him that, sir, my wife is not good, uh, not uh, uh, healthy, she is admitted. He just give the money easily, and I was observing that things. One fine day, I go, I went to him and asked him, Papa, I need eight thousand rupee. He simply said, Why? I said, Let me please give me. It's just eight thousand rupee. See if eight thousand to And the moment he made me the learn the value of that only word that eight thousand. I said, Papa, it's only eight thousand. It's not big money. Why you are asking such questions? Let me. He said, okay, beta, uh, uh, if you need 80,000, if you need 8 lakhs, come to me, I'll give you. Just it, it's a matter of 8,000, you go and earn by yourself, you will know. I said, okay, I'll go outside. I, I went to some places. As in my village, the people know us very well. They, they asked that he's a child of such businessman and he's coming for a job for 8,000 rupees, what made him to do this? Let me ask his papa. If his papa say, okay, I'll care. It's not good to keep him on job without asking his papa. Papa said, you deal on your own. He is my, he is my uh, son, but I, there is no involvement. There is no reference. If, if he's eligible for the job, you give him. If he's not, don't do him. And whatever you are paying, you make on your own. Don't think uh, he is my son. He is just a professional candidate coming to you for an interview. So uh, I just thought that I go to Kirana shop, grocery store, that it is very simple job, just need to uh, take the rice and measure it and give. But then the Kirana shop ask, person asked me that, dear, you don't know the liter and kilograms, your age is 13. And if you give more, it's our loss. If you give less, then it's customer loss. So we are not okay to give you a job. We will not able to employ you. Then I went to the another one. I went to the pharmacy store. I think the job is very easy. I simply need to, uh, I simply need to cut the medical strips 
and hand over as we see when we stand outside of the medical store but uh, he explained me that sir it's not such easy task you need to read the doctor's prescription in a very good manner that you can uh, write and guide the patient that one time or two time a day three time a day so if you make such mistake it's a life threatening thing so he said no okay they are also not open then i went to uh, multiple areas but i won't able to find my uh, career there then i went to a chai shop a tea seller and i asked him that sir i need a job i am in need of money i need 8000 rupee and uh, do you have such thing that i need qualification he said no no you know better that this gully number this street have this shop you just go pour the tea and come up i will give you a full cup you pour and come with me uh, come at the shop i say okay what will be the salary he said you don't have such experience before and uh, the fresher you are and i'll offer you 4000 rupee salary you need to work morning 9 to evening 9 9 to 9 ka timings hai it's in the market so you need to rush deliver come back take another one rage rush and come back i i was happy that okay chalo anyway i got 4000 nothing better it's something better than nothing then i went to my home and asked papa 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 i am very happy and i got my job the job salary is 4000 rupee and i'll uh, sell the tea and deliver the tea uh, papa said okay it's all okay but we are baniya jain people and we are a purely businessman people so let me help you with some figures i said okay papa help me papa said you are studying somewhere in a good school your fees is monthly 18000 rupee 15000 rupee 3000 additional we are paying for your transportation that is 18 and additional 4 to 5000 rupee other expenses we already uh, paid for you so monthly your expenditure to us it is 28000 better you just give me 28000 for the two months that is 56000 and you earn whatever you earn one crore you earn like zero rupee it's up to you but the two months i need that return of 56000 then i was under deep thought that oh my god 4000 ke liye morning 9 to evening 9 and additional now i have a burden of 28000 then what to do it's how i got the value of money at that moment of stage either my father can spoil me in a very bad manner i asked only 8000 he gave me only 80000 he gave me only 8 lakhs he gave me and i would never able to understand the value of money many of the students will think that my father and mother are not good they are not giving me money my friend's father is giving his money to the son but dear uh, the your parents will never think negative or never think bad about you they are the best well wishers of you and the god has made them your mentor your guide for the life you need to believe on them whatever they are thinking it is for you only and then what i did as per the hierarchy is there i ss ka jo social studies rehta in civics we have the structure like apex court it is known as a supreme and so i had knock knock to the apex court that is my father the supreme court then i went to the president maine bola ki everything is a loophole in this system at my hierarchy there is a loophole i need to knock knock to the president that is grandfather and if he permits the supreme court stay null and void so i went to my grandfather that grandfather i need 8000 rupee and uh, my father denied me for the same he said okay but let me know where you are going to use this money you are a boy you have food to eat you have uh, shelter to live you have clothes to wear then what this 8000 rupee you need for i said dada i need to pay this money uh, in foreign country for my project and all the things he said okay but i'll um, uh, i'll why i should give you the money first so i said i am your kid i am your uh, grandchild why not he said no you are at shop so i was into his office location so he said i am a financer to all but i am financer we deal on the secured business you give me some collateral which worth 10000 rupee i will give you 8000 rupee on the immediate basis i went to my home and i take my books i take my books i wear one earring i take that i have some ring i take them all the things and uh, dada it is 10000 worth goods please lend me 8000 he said simply that dear this property is not uh, it not belongs to you just get me the bill of these assets i went to my home ask my mummy i need 
uh, bill an invoice of that books, uh, this earring and the other things. I got the invoice of all, the value was 13,000, but the name written, it was Shailesh by Vipin Chandra Mehta. And my grandfather asked me that, are you this person? I said, no, it's the name of my father. So I cannot finance you. I cannot take his assets. I need his permission. It's how the they just completely washed me at that moment. I was 13, 14 when these things were happening. And then uh, I, my, I just requested my grandfather that, please, 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 I need your help and so things. And then he asked me that I'll not give you 8,000 rupee cash, but I'll monitor your expenses. And then everything was done. I, I just complained my grandfather because everything was sorted. I said, your child is not good. Your boy is not good. Blah, who? I said, your boy, my father, he said, you stupid. Is it like that? Anybody says about his father like this? I said, it's honest feedback. <laughs> he said, <laughs> he said like, no, no, no. Uh, what happened? Let me know. I said that he just give money to any fucking, uh, sorry, any, any foolish person. Sorry for my words. He, then, uh, then, and he just say no to me for 8,000 rupees. It's just, uh, just money. It's like, he earned it in a very low amount of time. But he said, no to me, why? Then my grandfather explained me that Raj, uh, he is a well-wisher to you. If a boy of 12 years old and come and ask 8,000 rupees, he don't know where you are going to use. He don't even have time to monitor that things. And what if you get spoiled with your friends? If somebody, because people know that you are from a rich family, your friend will just give you some... Um, uh, like some offerings that uh, give me 5,000, I'll give you 10,000. Or maybe uh, the generation is getting much and much more worst. Maybe drugs or something will happen. So due to that, he had denied to give you 8,000 rupees. But as I am also his father, but um, I am also not giving you 8,000 rupees in your hand. I am. I said that I'll give, but I'll monitor your expense. I will be with the 8,000 rupees, but will not give to you. I'll give wherever you want to spend. I'll go there, check the things and I will pay them. We are not worried about the money, but you are the one who will be the legacy follower. And it's, I don't want how to, it's not how I want to spoil my legacy member. You are the one only person, a sign of the family who will continue this legacy. Uh, like they have 150 year old farm. My grandfather and his grandfather started the business and they are into the finance they are into the bullion real estate and the, so he had said that i appreciate my boy that he had not gave you eight thousand rupees and not spoiled you and then after the day was that and today my father never asked me about any single thing i just say him papa i need this amount that amount gets to my bank account and it gets reviewed each and every time he simply asked me that if you make money, your approvals will be double. If you make loss, it will be four times lesser. So your limits will be reduced. If you make one loss, four times will be reduced. If you make profit, no matter 100 rupee I give, you make one rupee. I'll just double the limit. But when you are doing 100 ka 99 kia, you will be get 25 limit. Next time I'll not give you money. You demand, I'll give fourth of that as per the analysis. But by the God grace and my uh, efforts, I never had been into such loss till now. Yeah, failures are there, but not in the financial manner. I ever had made any loss. And till now, I'm happy that I'm being supplying to the 19 plus countries. And the Greta is a company which have the world highest altitude electric vehicle showroom that is situated in the Leh Ladakh. It get inaugurated on the 5th of September. And... Uh, it was like a benchmark for the EV industry in the world that, uh, and even uh, for your information that the Henry Ford was the only one founder of a company, Ford Motors Limited, a company founded by one person. It's before 120 years. And after 120 years, a Indian born person break the record of that uh, Henry Ford, a German origin. And now it's a, uh, a worldwide name of an Indian. So it's being proud that I, I am on such land as being an Indian, that I could able to contribute in my nation's 
identity identify identification and it's it's a proud thing that i identify myself and when you all respect me in such good manner that uh, the world youngest founder of automobile company and still i think it's much to do it's always never a limit uh, where you stop because there is no limit for the thinking so always need to think and work with the positive aspect so friends it it was my uh, journey and it's it's uh, having a very glimpse of the same but it's actually a very long one it took me 9 years to complete this journey i just uh, short uh, it as much as possible so thanks everyone and you can just ask me any questions you have it's time is there it's almost 11:50 so i am also having some another schedule so over to you sir i think we will quickly go to the questions so that we don't eat away your busy schedule time yeah uh, sir jay kumar has raised a hand uh, sir are you having a question to ask uh, no what is the advice to the new generation people for start for the, those who are going to startups please sir i had I, i had whatever your experience and all and it was a very good experience and all and uh, it is a very pleasure in having that you have come up with your own uh, efforts that is the yeah. best thing so what is the advice you can give to those uh, youngsters yeah so, i think sorry uh, i think this he is basically asking for a very short kind of an advice for youngsters yeah so your yeah. session has been primarily into that so uh, there is a one single liner for all that do the best you can prepare for the worst you always start the journey with positive aspect and perseverance and the dedication you just need to dedicate yourself being out of the comfort zone you will be the best entrepreneur ever in the world so it is a very single liner that you need to be out of the comfort zone with perseverance because it's like being out of comfort zone you won't achieve achieve any success you need to be out of comfort zone with perseverance and need to dedicate yourself and prioritize your goal of making a successful enterprise yes thank you very good very good very good uh, we would appreciate questions uh, from the student side i think all of us have a lot of questions but uh, i think first priority we should give to students because this is primarily for students yeah uh, anybody from the student side yeah there is uh, shazama and shaji uh, sir i am not from sd college but uh, can i ask please 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 um so, uh, sir uh, have lockdowns affected your business if so how did you overcome can you please repeat shazam yeah he is asking whether the covid lockdown has affected your business and if yes how have you overcome that challenge so uh, the greta electric scooter started in june 2019 and by the december 2019 i got approval by the international center of automotive technology that yes i can sell my scooters and I, uh, the scooters are okay to drive from january 2020 i started the first batch of production and everybody knows that march 2020 was the lockdown completely but um, it's how the challenges are and you convert them as opportunity it's the time you get for yourself you spend the time with yourself you make your networking very strong and explore the opportunities i closed my nepal deal the greta is also available in nepal we have two operational showrooms in nepal and the deal was closed in october 2020 so on october 2020 the first consignment was there already i made my many of the international connections in the same time and you always need to think positive that how you can um, take the best optimum output of the team you are having of the resource you are having is um, also it is a opportunity for the electric vehicle business is the people are getting aware about the hygiene and they are now aware about the private mobility is my vision when i just started about uh, converting bicycle to the electric my vision was to make and my vision is to make the 
mobility affordable to everyone the mode of commute affordable to everyone and the commute affordable to everyone i will repeat it to make the mode of commute affordable to everyone the mode of commute and the commute both things to be affordable if i give to you a bike okay say it is a royal enfield i give to you a bike but it should be affordable to you to maintain it and to make that petrol cost if i offer you a petrol and maintenance cost but you should be able to afford the one and a half lakh rupee for the bike as being an engineer learn a lot of things that owning an operation cost matters a lot and it creates a very big change in the consumer behavior then after uh, i just um, not mentioned that so i started with the electric bicycle converted that and then after people started approaching me that sir we want to convert my um, handicap i am handicap and i want to make it electric so i also made a kit for the uh, specially able people the tricycle are there where they need to pedal by hand i made it effortless then as well uh, the pedal rickshaws are there the tricycles are there which load up to 300 500 kilograms in delhi you will find the people uh, still pedaling with the passenger and the fourth one is converting the petrol bike to the electric one the splendor the bajaj pulsar there are many bikes available in the market which are now uh, not um, good to sell not good to drive they create much more pollution as per my kit they use my kit they make it electric now they no need to put the petrol in it for running so it is how we take the challenges as opportunity the people come with the challenge they, they come with the problem you need to think that are you able to solve that do you have some good things to address his problem and solve that if yes then you start the business because they have the demand and you have the supply so it's how the business works and thanks sajman uh, saji for joining and asking me the question yeah thank you sir uh, one of the one one question which i had in my mind is electric scooters is a very nowadays it's a very competitive uh, field like honda heroes all the all of them have are having two wheelers electric two wheelers so how do we how do you compete with them with such large companies and secondly uh, what is your usp what is the usp of your product vis a vis all these brands yeah so uh, krishnan ji it's like um, it's on us that whom we are thinking who are the competitor to us we all had seen the oneplus brand emerging into the market apple was there samsung was there nokia was there oneplus mi vivo they just come in front of us hamare samne hi aane wala ye brands hai now they are competing very well in the similar nature it's on us as per me uh, i am working to make the commute and the mode of commute affordable and i consider myself the one of the best one and the bestest one to provide the communication mode which is the scooters affordable our scooters can be charged at anywhere every plug point is the charging point of greta electric scooters if you find a plug where you charge your mobile the same plug will charge your greta in turbo mode the same plug in 3 hour it get 80% of charge as well as we are using a lithium ion battery so it gives 3 year of warranty and you are um, completely reliable on it that you can rely and you can work with the very like you can drive comfortless like uh, effortless you just need to be very free drive from one place to another as well we have remote features every vehicle have disc brakes now we are adding up the cruise control shortly that vehicle will be launched uh, it has been tested already customers also tested we had made prototype given gave them for testing we give the dealers okay, sir please use it uh, on your own and give us the best response believe me in the ladakh we had inaugurated our showroom before inauguration we not even had tested the product there simply truck load kiya truck was there and uh, i went there for ribbon cutting ceremony the scooter was out from the truck and i was driving on the slopes of ladakh it is how the confident we are on the product that i have my own confidence because i had made the thing and the bestest one in the bestest price india is a very economy um, uh, considering a very economy sensitive market our scooters are starting from 60000 rupee to 92000 rupee where you consider the operation cost it is only 15 paisa per kilometer 15 paisa per kilometer 
in 1.5 unit of electricity which is 15 rupee in 15 rupee you can charge your vehicle completely which will give you a ride of 100 kilometers easily so it is and that is also postpaid petrol is prepaid you need to pay money get petrol electricity is postpaid you drive after you drive you pay them when the light bill comes electricity bill comes so and if you have a solar it's completely free uh shruti uh, i think shruti has a page yeah sir by gaining various knowledge throughout your journey do you think that you had the best start ever or do you think that this knowledge uh, by gaining this much knowledge you could might you might have had a better start uh you are asking me uh, about starting another startup no no sir uh, this when you started this business it was it the best way to start okay so uh, okay okay anything uh, to be added up in this question uh, if you had uh, now you have more knowledge about the business yeah. if you uh, gain the knowledge before starting the business you might have had another uh, way to start the business do you think okay. like that uh no exactly no because um i uh, i can say one uh, quote one phrase in gujarati so i'll just first say in gujarati and then we'll translate as well so in gujarati we say that aap marya vina swarge na javaye it means aap marya means khud marna uh, khud mare bagair aap swarg nahi ja sakte unless and until you die you will not experience the heaven If I think that oh मैं heaven जाके आऊँगा चक्कर लगा के then I'll again uh, have a death कि यार अब तो जैसे ही born हुआ I'll make a suicide and I'll go to heaven and have that fun कि कर्म होगा ही नहीं मैं मजे करूँगा so and in the technical way I can say that you can uh, write the method of making puncture making the puncture you can write the steps of uh, actions but unless and until you use the things from your hand the tools from your hand you won't be able to do that. so you need to make that ideas happen whatever you are thinking and every moment is a challenging even like i was not prepared that you are going to ask me the question like this or the other participants will ask me what questions but we are very confident on ourselves and we are ready to face whatever it comes on the way we will just pass it we will overcome the challenge and do you know like you ask me this question it's an opportunity for me to learn and explore and i consider it in very positive manner that anybody is asking me question if i found it as a challenge then i'll make it as a opportunity to learn if that is not challenge to me that is just easy to me so maybe it's learning for that person whom i am addressing because i am confident on the point but still i don't consider myself that i learned about the business business is a very vast uh, world but yeah in a simple thing demand and supply and the knowledge it is like each and every moment is learning we Uh, ratan tata ji you can see his wording and his speeches i get inspired from him that he is always kind and humble to everyone he just keep on learning and we need to be that absorber sponge that if whatever the things are happening around us we need to absorb and the bestest one we do we render that and make the outcome so still i am not a master of business a lot to learn but yeah i consider that even uh, i give you one good example we have a small baby at home one or two year old that baby will go with the snake if you put snake he will go and play with it he don't know what it is he is the best one to take the risk if you are now such elder 20 years old 30 years old i ask you to play with that snake you will not go you will put your logical mind there is it or not same here with me same here with me before 8 years i was a person going here and there doing anything after 8 years i give a thought i give myself pause that raj please take a pause what things to be done so if you just need to be fresh and just act on it but i am still having that mindset of 8 years old back so i take the challenges for me it's like setting up a factory in ahmedabad was also a challenge now the challenge has been done i'm doing the double thing in uh, faridabad even i don't i visited four or five time faridabad in my lifetime and it's like 70000 one and a half acre area to be converted in the world class factory so it is how we think and do the like making the vision true making the vision reality so always be open for the challenges and anywhere you stuck up raj is there for you 
wherever you are there you can uh, let me know yeah thanks and thanks for such uh, creative question everybody will be maybe they are learning or they have this question but it's good you had asked this thanks shruti ji thank you sir thank you sir. Uh, ashwin has raised his hand ashwin krishna can you just good afternoon sir yeah good afternoon carry on yeah, good afternoon uh, sir it is always been said that uh, electric vehicles are uh, completely zero emission free uh, zero emission and this uh, very good for the environment and all but uh, but in the uh, new generation uh, when even uh, big corporates like uh, tesla have proved that it is a, a huge business it is also be uh, i've been said that uh, the materials that is used in the batteries that will cause uh, major environment problems uh, which is uh, even greater than the internal combustion engines that are being used in the long run so uh, what is your opinion on that because uh, we uh, also uh, uh, have been thought that uh, the uh, materials that is used to build the batteries are very much uh, harmful to the environment so uh, what we think is uh, that is a uh, major of the people who are uh, who have this kind of thoughts think that uh, it will be a greater problem after 10 years when uh, most of the vehicles will be in electric form so what is your thought about that okay okay so ashwin what i can able to i will just summarize your question and i'll address the same that you are mainly worried and concerned about that what will be happen to the e vehicle or the batteries waste when it will be uh, used completely and after that it will create more pollution compared to that crude or that petrol operated vehicles am i right is it okay yes sir yes sir okay so uh, ashwin ji so mainly um, the things are there is always a grade like if i give you uh, two uh, two uh, offers like one is to have 100 rotis at a single meal another offer is 50 roti in a single meal and another offer is 10 roti in a single meal your diet is only three you can eat three okay but there is not an option i give you three option there is 10 50 and 100 whichever you will select it will be the bestest one and conservative one you will select 10 roti wala question that okay i'll take the challenge of 10 you will not select 100 or 50 in the similar way what i think if people ask me in the sense that raj where you are uh, uh, looking at the electric vehicle industry in the coming 10 years so my truth and my verdict is two wheelers will be the endless uh, players in the market but four wheelers will not sustain in right now the today's day person who is offering 5 million rupee uh, 50 lakh rupee to purchase a four wheeler he will not able to stand two or three hours to get that vehicle charged so toyota and the other companies already started working on the hybrid vehicles that will have hydrogen as well as uh, electric both so my verdict goes with the hydrogen and electric both and uh, the lithium ion batteries are recyclable graphene batteries are also coming aluminum batteries are also coming there are much research the research are going on and on right now we are having cng it is not 100% pollution free but yeah lesser than the ic and uh, the verdicts are different from the industrialist but as per me uh, my personal view point is that the lithium can be reused if i say you example of greta what we do with our batteries whenever we are uh, utilizing the batteries and if it will get 3 year old or like thousand charges and discharges done okay then after that cells are being used for making the power banks because the vehicle have the similar battery pack it have the same lithium ion cells and the same cells the being used by the uh, the companies which are uh, making the power banks so the the power banks which you see uh, in the railway station 300 400 600 rupees that power bank consists cell of used laptop batteries when we use a laptop after 6 years we replace the laptop batteries so the laptop battery is like this uh, of this size maybe near about 30 40 cm so that uh, batteries get sold out and reused make a complete new product which is power bank then after using a power bank they use it in the uh, maybe in the trimmers they are using the emergency lightings 
in the toys, the 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 remote control cars. So the it has a multiple reuse. And then lithium is a metal; it can be recycled and again uh, reused. Thank you, Gayatri uh, Devi. Gayatri uh, Devi had raised the hand. She there. Good afternoon, sir. My name is Gayatri. I feel very blessed to talk with you. I yeah. want to ask that. Do you expect this like mass support from public for your invention? And is there is any role model to you, sir? Okay, but I would like to have one uh, once again the question in a clear manner so to get the clear answer. I, I think, uh, Gayatri, the first question. Can you repeat? Uh, I was also not clear on the first part of the question. Sir, did you expect this like mass support? From public for your invention of electronic scooter. Okay, so probably she is asking whether there was sufficient support uh, for electric scooters in the initial periods from the society. Oh, okay. So uh, Gayatri, uh, actually the public support comes in the various aspects. You all are supported to me. You are all motivated to me. You all are there by which my entrepreneur spirit get keep burning and burning and more alive. but the public support comes with the two things one is like they motivate you morally another is the public offerings ipo in terms of financials so uh, gayatri if i address the financial question it takes a time to make that company public limited but yeah we have the same goal and we would like to attain that by the 2026 which we are planning and probably uh, 2025 would be a good landmark to make the company public limited we will offer the sharings to the public to make uh, become uh, our partner and another question is that how public morally support so uh, public comes as the government as well in gujarat the government have a policy specifically for the students who are studying ninth class onwards maybe they are doing phd bcom mcom anything they get 12000 rupees subsidy directly to their bank account there is a very easy process it have simply aadhar card mark sheet uh, bank detail and the proof of purchase the four things you need to give you get the 12000 rupees credited to your bank account if you are using the electric vehicle by the registered vendors greta is also registered vendor of gujarat government anybody can purchase scooter and make it subsidized and uh, the public is now getting more and more aware as you know the elections are there once the election result will come elections will done because the crude rate are getting higher it's more than 100 dollar a barrel which was like never before so now as the election get done it will boom and everyone everyone the 130 140 crore people in the india everyone life is connected with the commute you need to use two wheeler or the petrol or diesel to commute from one place to another it increase the lifestyle expenses if my salary is like 15000 i need to commute somewhere here and there i need to spend 3000 a month if i use electric scooter that gets reduced to the near about uh, 400 or 500 rupee it's just 10 times so i'll be saving in my uh, income but it is how we empathize them about their problem that sir you are using every day 100 rupee fuel to travel 40 kilometers use greta charge 15 rupee fuel and you get this solution and we are there for a longer term with the 3 years of warranty so the customer uh, uh, accept that and uh, gayatri we had started working from very rural area like from a very base like the conversion kids the pedal rickshaws the disabled people the cycle conversion kids postmaster and the paper vendors the person who comes and throw the paper in morning they are our customers so i had been privileged to get that experience at very early stage to learn about consumer behavioral and to know about how the people behave when they introduce with the electric vehicles so we make number of schemes and the awareness programs and i am very sure that uh, the 130 140 people who are joined in the call they will be a green ambassador for this planet no matter they are using greta vehicle whatever the vehicle they are using but i believe they will be having a aspect of using um, electric vehicle instead of that ic engines so yeah Uh, raj there are a couple of questions in the chat box and couple of people have raised their hands do we have time uh, to take uh, those questions uh, yeah i can give you time up to 12:30 we will sum up right. the thing right. yeah okay okay fine so one question in the chat box is what are your future expansion plans uh, secondly what is the reason behind choosing the name greta 
for your subsidiary okay so i'll answer both of so the expansion plan we are planning to have uh, 50 plus uh, uh, outlets across the india in operational manner right now we are having 10 outlets in the india operational we are planning to make it by september 2020 uh, 22 to make it operational across the india nation and uh, if we look on the foreign countries we are not much focusing there but we are taking the inquiries as and when and even we are into the nepal already established we got permit there in europe the testings are under uh, process by the government authorities the one who regulate the road transport ministries so they are testing our vehicle so it is how we are planning to expand and uh, as a first step to cater the coming need we are setting up a new plant in faridabad of double the capacity which will be able to produce 90000 scooters per annum it will be like 1 lakh scooters per annum in the coming uh, maybe the project will complete in the one year and it will be in the phased manner the construction of first and second phase will be done in the coming maximum one and a half month the half land will be ready to use and uh, another okay. question why, why greta the name yeah. greta so uh, the greta world is a german origin and when the people think about automobile uh, the major manufacturer the major players are from the german background and another reason behind greta is um, is meaning of the word so greta means a pearl moti so it is tough as moti it is as shiny as moti as pure as moti so it's like you feel the cost at one time you own that pearl but it is valuable it worth the money and it have the attributes it is completely durable and tough no matter how much you uh, rub it or how much you throw it it will keep it shining as it is so it is the reason behind the great award and it is easy to remember and quite attractive so people can remember the word at one go yeah so we have few students have raised the hand pallavi after that radhika yes sir can i ask yes yeah. yes uh, so uh, my question is uh, in the coming future what do you think of the country's ability to satisfy energy need for ev vehicles okay pallavi it's a very good and futuristic question you had asked but uh, as i mentioned that uh, it's similar contradictory with the petrol vehicles as well that petrol vehicles ka bhi need kaise fulfill hoga nobody is knowing it has a limited resource and we study two type of energy resources are there one is renewable another is non renewable so if i use uh, uh, fossil fuel i cannot make it again but electricity is a renewable source of energy if every one of us will install a solar panel at their home they will able to generate enough and adequate quantity of electricity uh, and it is far better and will be more cheaper as and when uh, we compare with the ic engines or with the uh, gasoline operated uh, locomotives so it is how the demand will be generated uh, catered in the future coming time thank you radhika radhika das yes sir good afternoon sir uh, yeah good afternoon sir my question is how do you define success from your perspective so success is what when people identify your work by your name if you are in ev industry the people identify the ev industry by your name it is what success looks like it is very simple definition if you i say four wheeler and we say tata so it is his success it is his success and it happens and uh, it needs a lot of perseverance it needs lot of effort with the same uh, lakshmi ramachandran good afternoon sir yeah good afternoon my question is actually a continuation of what shruti ma'am asked but still let me ask you sir you turned out to be an entrepreneur at an early age so uh, you know society often as you said tend to underestimate children of our age so but still you coped with all those breakdowns so what do you think is something contrasting in you uh, from your contemporaries or like uh, now you have enough knowledge at those early days when we do not have such you know so much of knowledge uh, like uh, what what was your mindset towards all those uh, 
rejections and all those the first thing that comes to your mind sir when you were rejected something about that yeah so uh, lakshmi actually i had mentioned an incident of how i had been um, demotivated or i got a sense of demotivation when my father had rejected my uh, asking because it's the first thing it it just come as like this as a clear war on you that oh how clear attack on your motivation that uh, in the lifetime you never uh, heard that no or negativity from the father but when i ask him he said no that i'll not give but i never stop myself from that even many people laugh on me when i used to take leave from my school for this project people said oh what uh, thing he is doing because it's nothing um, uh it 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 is not possible to make that bicycle electric in such nominal cost how this boy will do but lakshmi you always need to be um confident enough with your vision and you need to believe on yourself the first one to believe is you yourself in yours that yes i can do i will do and even uh you need to justify your parameters like if you want to raise fundings if you want to come me, with me and you ask me funding that raj um i want uh, investment of 10 lakh rupees i am having some ideas and i want 10 lakh rupees of funding please help me with that i will say okay lakshmi but show me the parameters on which you had been succeeded before what are the portfolio you are carrying with you if i am right now as i said before i was having challenge for the 8000 rupee right now the fundings are like constant flow when i ask it i get it because it get reviewed time to time and i am able to justify my askings that papa i need these fundings and i am justifying my need with the usage of the same which is on the uh, key parameters that yes these are the parameters i am using the funds with keeping these 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 things on priority if i want to have a mercedes i will not purchase it today my papa gives me 50 lakhs i'll invest to my startup i'll invest to my factory uh, construction work i will not prioritize my comfort at that level mercedes is just a vanity it's a comfort it attracts more and more expenses to that and if i invest in a factory it will give me uh, more revenue in that so it is how lakshmi you need to justify yourself to the person whom you are uh, targeting or whom you are addressing your need and definitely that person will believe on you as they will see your confidence on yourself I think we will take the last question. Uh, Shazaman Shaji uh, has raised the hand. Do you have a question? So, uh, another thing I, I want to ask is that what were the challenges you faced or uh, the strategies you took when on your initial time to sell your products? Ha, huh, Shazaman, actually, the sell is a very easy thing. You just need to identify the right person who have that problem. either if they don't have problem create that you need to empathize them for us commute was not a problem okay but they empathized us we are using this platform google meet i didn't ever got call from sundar pichai ji that raj use google meet it's my product please it they are doing sales right now we are using mobile network we are using multiple things so it is about they introduced about our they aware about that sir you are having this problem we are having the solution ola uber it was not in existence people think about as a concept zomato ott platforms ott platform people was thinking that we have cinema we have tv tata sky why we, somebody will pay in ott netflix and these all things right now they had empathize with our okay, why you are bound to watch your favorite program at same time we are there to offer you the recorded version whenever you want you play that it's at your own ease you can watch your own separate papa can watch your his separate don't need to have four tv at home so it is how the things developed and as per me uh, i said demand and supply it is a very single thing and you need to empathize you need to find a right customer tg target group is a, a term we use in the marketing uh, uh, industry that to how to identify the good customers so as for me the paper vendors the person who don't need speed the person who don't need uh, much kilometers the person who don't need some uh, showcasing he just want to make his drive effortless because his business is limited time if your home get a newspaper after 8:30 you will not able to accept that you will not accept at all that paper is useless 
it should be delivered before 8 or 7 am in morning so that person now can capture more market by using this electric cycle he no need to put much efforts and then you need to empathize the other person as well and um, it is very uh, common you can just find the problems around you and whatever the problem i was facing as a child i was not having driving license my family have the vehicle but i don't have driving license my age was not 18 but they provided me the bicycle that you use this whatever way you want so similar way i have a long uh, largest group of students that they, they don't have license they want to commute they want to be stress free and work uh, perform the best in their exams in the college in the tuitions they want to be energetic so i don't want to make them lose their energy in pedaling it's how about we aware them thank you sir yeah i think raj we have to say this is one of the most entertaining and inspiring stories which we have for the last 22 talks and we are extremely honored and privileged to have you uh, i i am sure those who, those students who missed out today are going to rush <laughs> into our youtube channel and find out this video again and again uh, it's, it's been a very wonderful session thank you uh, thank you especially i I'll, i'll leave it to the comparers to continue with the rest of the program thank you once again sir 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 one one just one yes, just one yes, comment yes sir yes sir Ah, uh, uh, Raj Mehta, this is Prashan. Yes, Thank yes, you. yes. <laughs> just like, uh, just like how we had a chit chat. I am driving. Uh, I am mean driving. I am driving. Sorry. Just like how we had a chit chat in uh, WhatsApp. We had a wonderful session. Okay. Yeah. And uh, is, uh, apart from your uh, uh, transacting on uh, the entrepreneurship and uh, how you made your journey, the most thing that I liked is uh, on how you stressed on uh, the value of money. Yeah. yeah 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 the most the students today are prone to using a lot of uh, things like drugs alcohol etc uh, yeah. just like how your grandfather had that uh, fear upon you so, yeah, yeah. Uh, so thank you thank you for uh, just like how you said an electrifying experience it was truly an electrifying experience for us also the teachers thank you so much raj yeah thanks prashant ji due to you only we all are able to connect and uh, is is your product available in kerala as well uh, yeah you yeah that is one question i had in my mind do you have plans to start in kerala <laughs> so uh, my first dealer my first dealer it is in the kerala and tamil nadu border in the uh, in the um, coimbatore uh, is that coimbatore district vadakkan kulam vadakkan kulam it is nagarkoil nagarkoil Okay, but uh, they are not active as of now because the owner had shifted to Brazil, so they are not active. But yeah, I have good connections with the the South Indian land, and the people are very welcoming and such uh, humble people are there. So I just love to be there. And We hope you you reach the scales of Ratan Tata, which you also mentioned as one of your inspiring stories. So. probably in future the next generation or the couple of generations down the line we'll talk about raj and greta the same line as that of tata yeah. in that uh, in that most of the audience and us are all much older than you we all bless you <laughs> thanks thanks it is the thing the people like me can only do efforts because i not get much into the spiritual things but uh, and actually i was i get much um, burden i i have able to uh, like take a uh, sleep of 4 hours maximum from the last 4 5 years which i can re remember i am able to take sleep of 4 hours maximum due to my workload but i was one day sitting with a saint and asking that uh, how much to live matlab kya chahiye zindagi mein jeene ke liye matlab kitna chahiye do roti to chahiye he had replied me how much to make live i had asked him how much to live zinda rehne ke liye kitna chahiye unhone bola ki zinda rakhne ke liye kitna chahiye the things motivates me to make much employments ki yes god has created the best animal on this planet it is human being the best other animals are waking up sleeping it's all their life they go for their own butter bread and butter human being is the one who can help other people to earn and have the ability to think of so as if i think of my own that saint said ki agar main apna hi sochta i could have go to the farm and villages in the forest and i think on my own 
I'm running this organization, Gurukul, and I'm employing 100 plus people here. So now they are earning by doing hard work and good work and taking the money with their home in a, a positive manner. Either somebody will be having some drugs or some other things which are not positive. So if you God has sent you with such ability, you be with that optim, use that at the best level you can and contribute the best to the everyone. Like if you are having some issue, you are not able to fix your um, tap or shower at your home. If Raj can contribute in that, it's my um, bestest thing I can able to help. <laughs> it is what how I think of. Thank you. Thank you, Raj. May God yeah. bless do you. Do visit also. SD College. Yeah. yeah if you come, come down to South, do visit our college. It will be a great pleasure to host you once again. Are, sure, sir. Sure. I would like to meet all of you, you and uh, Prashanji, everyone that can interact with them all. And it's all the blessings work. I can make only efforts and uh, trials, but the blessings only works. <laughs> Thank you. Let, let's go to the final part of the session. Uh, Gauri, are you there? Okay, sir. Uh, thank you, sir, for such an inspiring session. Uh, so now let me invite uh, Lakshmi to deliver the of that. Am I audible?